And it wasn't just about the food. It was about um, hospitality, the openness to gather at table. And yes, when we talk about open table, the first image we have is the communion table, and rightfully so. Um, that broadens my perspective of what an open table looks like. And when we talk about the global nature of this church that we're in and the diversity that we have, how did I get here? Um, the, the privilege of being at these tables. And I also understand that not everybody has that same privilege, right? Um, and so I, I don't take that lightly. Every once in a while, I just go back and read that theological task. And I just go back and really read through that and reflect on some of those words. We are a vital web of interactive relationships. And that's what helps us be at that table. If we just get down to the basics of blocking and tackling, as they say, of what it means to be faithful followers of Jesus. Um, can I listen um, deeply uh, to the people around me, to the nat to nature? Um, so if there's one thing I would say is listen. And yes, the one you know, it is the one you know, it is the one you know, it is. You know, if I say this, I'm going to offend this person. If I don't say it, I'm going to offend that person. Um, and, you know, they're going to take their, you know, their marbles and go home. And uh, it, that's just, it is a hard, hard time to be a pastor of a local church. And uh, again, I live in the South and I live in Louisiana, where racism is, you know, alive and well. I'm the class and the villain. I'm the class and the villain. I'm the class and the villain.